Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst, and today we're gonna to play with some lilies. The reason why we're doing this is because we're actually on special. Um, to, all week long, we're gonna have these. These were only be eight dollars a stem, and they're on sale for six dollars a stem. So first off, we're gonna prep our container. So here's our rubrum pink, or pink rubrum lilies. We're gonna work with, and we'll depollinate those in a second. We're gonna work with a little bit of equisetum, or river cane, or snake grass and some blacks and two pieces of dianthus. So what we'll do first, this is our cool container, and this comes from United Containers. So Sandy, here you go. And so if you look inside of it, it has a hole there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fill this with a little bit of foam. Wedge that in there, just like this. Under there. And then I'm also gonna put a little bit of a wedge a small piece just like that and the reason why because I'm going to incorporate some product here on the very edge so it really doesn't take a whole lot in here because we're just going to pin these in take those little pieces there and that should give us enough wedge to make that work like that so let me get that out of the way so now what we want to do is we're going to take this flax, and this flax has probably seen its better days. It's starting to dry. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to cut it in pieces, different heights, and different shapes. Cut off the dead, just like that, all the way down. Here, I can do a couple pieces together. I like doing broccoli, I mean asparagus. <laughs> so how are everybody doing today? Anybody Everybody's good. There? We have Alabama, Michigan. Michigan. McCroy. Miss Peggy's back on. Miss Peggy, I've been worried about you. I hope Brother Gerald's doing good. So do that. I call him Brother Gerald because he is the one. He was my Sunday school teacher growing up went to church, kind of had his hands full because he did the teenagers from 12 to 16, I believe was his group, so. Miss Paula wants to know, how are you today? I'm good today, I'm good today. We are just taking it day by day and trying to make the best of a situation and a lot of learning curve going on here. So, let's take this one together. Cut that off there. And as you can, as you can see, this actually dries. I'm going to try something. I'm trying to make this into cover the cover of the plant. This is a moss. I just want to try this. May not work. Maybe an epic fail. That's okay. <laughs> we ain't got nothing but time right now, so live and learn. So what I want to do is take my pen, and I'm just going to pin these together in all different shapes and sizes, what I don't throw on the floor, into there. And once you wedge one in there, you can spin more off of it. I'm gonna wedge one more like that, like that, like that. See, I'm learning as I go. So if I would've taken that originally and just wedged that down in the bottom to there, I really wouldn't even have to done that foam in the rich, rich in the beginning. See, always learning something. As a lot of you know, I make it up as I go anyway, so. <laughs> so that's the fun part of it. So, it looks like we're gonna be doing this for quite a while until we get unquarantined. So if y'all have anything you wanna see that we can play with or kick around a little bit, Please let us know. Please ask questions and give us the opportunity to come up with something fun to do and so we have something to spend our time doing. So I'm just pinning that together like that. And I'm gonna pin that back on top of that piece there. So it makes it a little bit more of a contemporary pave top. You know, it may not be for everybody, but I just wanna do something a little different. Gotta 
kind of got to keep my pen fresh here. So doesn't have to think that's no talking about. So let's get that part done there. That was pretty quick and easy. Oop, that turned out pretty good. Let me pin that one right into there. I'm gonna pin more one right there. So now we're gonna work with our star grazer, our rubrum lilies. You always want to take these off. This is what stains your skin as well as stains your clothes. Um, if you ever get it on you, let it set for a little while, kind of let it dry, and you can actually take a piece of tape and just pull it off with a piece of tape. Don't ever smear it in. That's the the pollen is kind of wet or sticky, as I say, and so it'll just make the stain worse. Same thing on your face, just kind of let it set there and you can take a piece of tape and take it off. If by chance you can't get that off that way, um, we have tried pine saw at home and that seems to help it, when you wash it, to wash it with put pine saw on it and take it off. I'm sure other people have a lot of other ideas to use. I'm not sure if Jody Duncan's watching this, does, does Design Master or Mess Master work on those or not? Not really sure. So I'm taking all the leaves off of these because I like it not to cross the line because I'm going to use equisetum to make a line to go across this when I finish. And plus this also, I promise, helps open the buds for you. Just want to pop that out. And pop that out. So if you have anybody that's a competition designer out there, actually, you always want to take these off. I lost Southern Retail one time because I left antlers on them, or the, the antlers on the inside of a, an Asiatic lily. I thought it looked pretty. The judges did not, and so I lost. That's what made me lose by, I think, two points or something Southern Retail one time. So you live and you learn, though. So take that there. I want to take that off again. Just gonna pull those right off. So there's that. So now we're going to throw this on the ground. They love it here after I finish because there's always a pile of mess, mess to work with. So now we're gonna take this and we're gonna wedge this right in here. Are these lilies as fragrant as Easter lilies? They are. If you love stargazers or rooms or Casablancas, this is the flower for you. We have certain clients that actually use these in their home to fragrance their house. So, very much the one to use. And I'm actually turning these, trying to twist these around so there's different angles of blooms. But I want all my color to be on the top. The reason why I'm doing that, because this here will counteract the weight of the container on the bottom. Okay. So now let's do a little something fun here. We're gonna take some of the equisetum. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna wedge these through here. I'm gonna put a bunch of them in here first. And I'm gonna use the tension of stems. Janae said she loves stargazers. Janae does? Janae does. Well, Janae too hates them. <laughs> 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 There's a Janae 1 and a Janae 2. My Janae is not a big fan. It gives her a headache. Oops. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take some of this banding wire here. And I'm just going to hook these around that. This is a, a latex wire. It's actually a silk stem that we have like in a rope. Uh, and we're just going to catch these here and there to hold those in place for us. There. Well, Miss Janae, if you like some lilies, we're going to fix you up. This is her week to get them. That's her week to get them. Actually, I meant to go this way with it. We have friends from New Mexico, from Kansas, Scotland, Ohio. Cool. Romania. Oh, wow. Hey, Romania. Hey, Scotland. Hope you are doing okay. Not this 
why it would work well, but it's kind of hard to deal with. Oops. It's not as pliable as I thought. We don't figure it out. You know what we could do? We're gonna cut that there. We're gonna cut that there. Cut that there. We're actually gonna cut this here and here. And now we're gonna wedge it back and forth. Dublin, Ohio, and someone said aloha from Hawaii. Oh, cool. Hello, Hawaii. Aloha. Someone said they hope that you continue daily happies even after quarantine. Well, we're gonna try to, but man, that's a lot of stress on me to have to do, <laughs> to do that. Maybe not daily, uh, daily. but. We're gonna continue to do some, but it may not be daily, but we're gonna, I'm always gonna try to do something because honestly for us, it gives us something to look forward to a little bit to see if we can pull it off or not for one day. So anyway, but we definitely love the camaraderie. It's kind of like we're all getting together and playing here, so one way or the other. There's that. So for all my garden club fans, this one's for you. I know my Miss Cookie, who got me started with flowers when I was about four with my grandmother. She'd be digging this one. At least I hope she'd be digging this one. So now we're gonna to to go back and take this. And I'm going to insert this here. everybody but I just want to play a little bit the love texture the cool thing about the equisetum it's very pliable if you want to control it even more you could take a wire and run it up in the middle of this just insert the wire and that way you can control the bend a little bit more than that someone asked what is the grassy called the, this grass this is called equisetum or river cane or horsetail it supposedly is one of the oldest forms of foliage. Like I said before, supposedly that's, this is what they made Moses' basket out of. They used to use this to weave baskets with. So now we're gonna take these two lilies. And I was kind of waiting for the very end to put this in because I didn't want this to get beat up, of course. This little piece of dianthus. I'm going to spin this around so you can see the finished product. I think we've covered all of our mechanics up pretty good. One in the back. Let me spin this around. Clean space. So that's my take on playing with lilies today. Do you ever use lighting in your arrangements? Um, depends on what it's for. We do a lot of times we'll do something like that for an event work. We'll put lighting in it. Um, it just depends on if it's needed or not. So. And where did you say the vessel came from? This comes from Tipton Hurst. 
but actually, if you're floor, it comes from United Containers. Um, I think it's about UCI. Yeah. Anyway, Sandy Shrek out there. This is her one of she reps this line. So if you have any questions, just call me and I'll give her you her information. If she's not online, and a lot of times she'll respond, so she can actually give you the item number. I think it's still on the line. I've had this man for about two years, but they've got cool stuff that would be just as well to work with. So anyway. Hopefully everyone's had a good day today and I hope y'all have enjoyed watching and have a little bit of happy. And tomorrow we're going to make a hand-tied bouquet because tomorrow is happy hour all day long, and her. So we're gonna go play in the cooler tomorrow. So we will see you tomorrow and y'all have a blessed day and thanks for watching.